And my friend Holly is keeping time for me, which is wonderful. And you can mix cool and warm grays together um, unless you have like a what I considered a very defined area like cool grays, warm grays. Here they're all mixed in with each other and you just kind of have to go through and figure out what one's what or how you even want to do it because you can always switch it up a little bit if you want. That's the one thing about art that is wonderful but is so frustrating. There aren't really that many rules. There's certain ways of doing things, and when you talk to people and go, how do you do this, how do you do this, it's more, well, this is how I do it, or this is the style that I work in, or this is how I was trained, and the more you talk to people, the more you find just all these different methods, all these different schools of thought, and it starts to get a little confusing, and after a while, you just have to figure out what works for you, what you like doing. Okay, and... And Holly told me we're starting to run out of time. I was trying to do a time limit on this. So I'm going to work on this little pink area of the muzzle, even though it's filling in all this. If you look on the horse, we have pink around that nostril. It goes up a little bit on the muzzle. And then it comes down here, and it's, like, shaded in. So I'm going to work on this part. And I find with color pencil, you can work light to dark, and in some instances, dark to light. On a darker background, I like working a lot of times from light to dark. Um, you can kind of go back and forth with it. Fill in a little bit, okay. And then I'm gonna be using probably some warm grays, like right now is warm gray 70%. Uh, Prismacolor makes a whole bunch of French grays. Those are always... Uh, <laughs> pencil malfunction. Meow. Yes. Sorry, I'm a little bit neater than that, but... For this demonstration. I'm just going to start outlining it and going over where it has shadows and shading. Start to create a lot of depth. And Holly, it's okay if we go over time-wise. Over 15? If we can keep it around 15, that will be good. Because I have a feeling oh, people okay. are starting to fall asleep on me or go, oh, come <laughs> on, get to the point. I'm going to use putty beige a little bit to help smooth it out. And this is how I layer with my color pencils. I don't know if you can see. I'm actually putting yes. a lot of pressure. But I'm going over what I just drew and starting to blend them. With paints, it's a lot easier. You pre-mix your colors. And then add them. With color pencils, you have to mix pretty much on the paper as you're working. You don't have the luxury of being able to pre-mix and then apply. You have to do any mixing on the surface. So it's another reason I like using this. This paper is by Canson and it's actually like a board. If you guys can see it's like thick. Yep. It's a uh, paper mounted on board. It has a lot of tooth to it because it's primarily for pastelis, but people can use it for anything they want. I always keep a little rubber eraser my kneaded eraser right here pat it down to pick up some extra little crumbs as I call them from the pencil so they don't smear now I have a warm gray 10 percent I'm gonna use that to help lighten up certain spots and it's really subtle what I'm doing and I literally I'll put down 10 or 15 layers in a spot and it's just going back and forth picking out colors that I see in this area I'm going back, so I don't know if you can see, there was the pink, mm -hmm. warm gray, the lighter uh, warm gray. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be using French gray 90% to bring in some more warm shadows.
I use the pink. And the pink I was using for that is light peach. Go back over that. So tedious, yes. Repetitive, yes. That's kind of how all my drawings are. And this pink is very subtle. Um, up here, it's going to have to be a much stronger pink, and I may start out with... Let's see what do I have here. I've got salmon and peach. I'll probably start out with salmon, like, up here, because it's a lot more concentrated of a pink, and I'll tone it down with layers on top of it um, to kind of bring the color back a little bit so it's not just like, whoa, that horse has a neon pink nose. But just when I'm... We call him Rudolph. Yes, he's a little Rudolph. That back down to here. And I know I told you guys I go through and fill out all of it, then I go back and work more, but like in specialized areas. But for this um, demo, 